Fitzaya came out, and Fitzaya was talking about Justin Gaethje. He said, I've been promised him, I think. I think. It was strong language, and he said, I think I'm going to get... Oh, by the way, do you guys want to know when they're, when they're going to fight? This this will stun you. In March. But set that aside. And you want to know why? That rumor's been around for about two months. This Fitzaya Gaethje business doesn't appear to be going away. So, that's what you call a hardcore dream. But Zayv is one of these guys who is on his way up, and he's on his way up pretty damn fast. But he's not he's not quite there yet. And he has this style, and he kind of gets it. You guys might remember Fazayev. Fazayev, about two years ago, decides to call out Kevin Lee. And he goes out into the middle of nowhere. I want to say, was there snow on the ground? It was at least the woods. Now, my mind is playing a trick that there was snow on the ground, but it was at least in the woods, and he's calling for him, and he's yelling for him. And it was a simple piece of theater. But it was more than anybody else had done. So then, fast forward the tape, Fedzaev ends up fighting Bobby Green, and he calls out Hezbollah. Now, Hezbollah's been going around and he's slapping people and people kind of know who he is. Even Dana got involved with something there. But not at that time. Fitzayev was kind of ahead of the curve on that. I had to go Google, see what he was talking about. It's low-hanging fruit, I get that. I'm just sharing with you, this is a guy who's strong, who looks the part, who has a playful side, who has a stone-cold style, just like Justin Gaethje. Right? Justin's a little more stoic outside of the ring, but Zayev's a little bit more playful when they get in there. Those are two rough customers. So when I tell you that this is a hardcore dream, right? I know that I kind of went out of my way to just state the obvious, but the obvious isn't where this ends. That's actually what goes on to complex this because Justin Gaethje is a star. Those are the hardest guys to get to fight. Now, I'm not sharing for you that Justin has done that yet, but Justin's done a whole bunch of fighting. He's been the world champion. He went opposite the most popular fighter ever in Khabib. All right, he's had some experiences. That's all I'm sharing for you. He fought for another world championship at home in Arizona. He's had some experiences. I don't know that he just wants to go out there and get in a cage fight. Now, he's never said anything to lead me to the conclusion of telling you guys he's going to be hard to work with. I'm following the golden rule of put myself in his shoes which is really hard for me to do because I wasn't the champion, right? I mean, do you understand where it gets tough and you, you're trying to guess what does he want? Does he just want a big fight? Boom, he's got one right there. That would be equivalent to Chandler versus Gaethje the night that it happened. Chandler versus Gaethje now would be a lot bigger. Chandler was just just starting his ascension plan. Chandler's actually bigger now than he was, even if they're both coming off live. They, they are more well-known now, and they were big enough to be third from the top of the bill at Madison Square Garden. It's a big fight. And when people try to dismiss it and go, well, it's just a hardcore fight, it, that's true. But if you can please the hardcores and you can ignite your base, you, you've got a big fight. That's a big match. Is that the kind of thing that Justin wants to do? I would understand where Fazayev wants to. I understand why when I'm hearing about this fight, I'm quoting you things that Fedzayev said. I understand when I talk about this fight, I've seen Fedzayev's manager. I understand when I'm telling you about this fight, coming from Fedzayev, he could use it. He would be the B-side. That's okay. Fedzayev's doing everything right. I'm just not, without hearing from Gaethje, without hearing from Ali, I'm not confident in telling you it's going to happen. I'm not. I don't know how many more times Gaethje wants to go and do this. Gaethje said at one point, and he put a number on his career, and it wasn't very many. It was three. It was four. It was five. But you know what, guys? That was three. That was four. That was five fights ago. I don't know how many more he wants to do, and I'm just looking and go, man, that's a tough night out right there. Justin Gaethje could beat Fadzaev. Damn right he could. That's a tough night out. You're going to be banged up. You're going to be bludgeoned even on the way to victory. 
And it goes the other way too, man. That old dog's got a few more tricks in it. I, I am not certain that it's over. Or I'm not even certain that it's winding down. That was a way that I didn't I didn't mean to sound that dramatic. I'm just sharing with you. Gaethje's Gage, is incredible. Gaethje showed us, and I will go back to the fight with Chandler. It was that night that we said, oh man, he's he still got it. Even the night with Oliveira, man, anything that could go wrong what did go wrong. It was one of those matches where sometimes things unravel really fast and you got to almost dismiss it. You got to almost just pull it out. When you're looking for a mean, you've got to pull out some of those anomalies. So Fitzai versus Gaethje, right? I mean, the exits and O's are very interesting. That's the largest between those boys. But if they could agree to the fight, it would tell us a lot about Justin Gaethje. It would tell us where he's at right now. I've given you a lot of speculation and nothing had to do with Justin's left hand or his right hand or his ability to kick or train or anything like that. I don't know where he's at mentally. Does he want to go and take on some of these dangerous guys that are a little bit younger, that are a little bit less popular? Does he want to do that? Because there's a position there. And, and, and moreover, guys, if we are going to go in the direction of Faziah versus Gaethje, which it does seem to be the rumor that just won't go away. You got to do something good with Gaethje. It's Gaethje. You got to do something good with Faziah if he's on his way up, right? I mean... But are we all going to act like the Patty Pimlet talk just didn't happen? Dave Portnoy comes out as the president of Barstool Sports and has a personal problem with Gaethje. That Gaethje suggested they settle with violence and Portnoy has a guy named Patty Pimlet. I mean, is it just me? Are we not understanding just that story right there? And I pulled the reins on that. I'm, I'm pulling back on that story. Just what I just said right there. We not understand the magnitude of that fight. And before you tell me that Patty the Baddie's not ready, shut up with that. If you're one of those guys, if you're one of those he's not ready, please leave me alone. You and I are different guys, man. You're never going to say anything that I'm going to be able to relate to. Ever. You have a guy in the UFC who's never lost. Don't tell me he's not ready for anybody. And if he's not ready, don't tell me that that's a good reason to not do a fight. If your guy's not ready, get him out of the organization. Create a hole for somebody else. Oh, by the way, when you take him, take those other four guys that he beat up. Because apparently they're not ready either. Or stop with it. And come to me with the biggest fight you can make when you can make it. And when you're ready to do that, I want to hear from you why we're overlooking and who is responsible for moving past Patty versus Gaethje with Portnoy sitting in the middle of it?